To become a solo Ethereum validator, it's necessary to deposit 32 ETH and go through a queue until the validator is activated. This is known as the deposit queue. On the other hand, to exit and withdraw, the validator will have to signal their intentions to leave the network and go through an exit and withdrawal queue. The exit queue is used to initiate the exit process, while the withdrawal queue is used to actually withdraw the ETH. To ensure that the network remains stable and secure, the number of new validators created and exited are dynamically limited. It's currently at around 8 per epoch and can change based on the total number of active validators. WhenMerge.com can be a good source to check the number of validators waiting in the deposit and withdrawal queue, along with the approximate amount of time it might take to clear. It is fair to assume that the number of validators is increasing when the deposit queue is greater than the withdrawal queue, and vice versa is also true.